Oxford is known for its famous university. The precise date when the university was established is unknown, but what is known is that the first records of teaching began in 1086, making it the oldest university in the English-speaking world and the second oldest university in the world. The oldest university in operation being the University of Bologna in Italy. Oxford University grew very rapidly in 1167 because Henry II banned English students from attending the University of Paris. Let's have a look at what the city looks like. It really is very lively here. The atmosphere is simply electric. There are students and visitors from all over the world. University campuses are all over the city centre, some are old and traditional and some are very modern. This is the most iconic building in the city, Radcliffe Camera. The word camera comes from Latin and it means the room, so nothing to do with cameras per se. It was designed by James Gibbs in 1737 and it's built in neoclassical style. Absolutely tremendous. All of it is so warm because of the stone that it's built with. I love this building. It has perfect shape, perfect proportions. And it simply looks stunning. Right next to it, literally less than two minute walk, is a beautiful building, the Sheldonian Theatre. It was built in 1664 by Christopher Wren, the great architect who built St. Paul's Cathedral in London, as well as 51 churches too, not to mention many houses as well. What I absolutely adore about these historical buildings in Oxford is that despite the grandiose look, they are of perfect size, which makes them be very relatable. Moving on, this is Hereford Bridge, often referred to as a Bridge of Size, because it's very similar to the Bridge of Size in Venice. It's quite amazing how the world was interconnected in those days, the days before fast and accessible travel. Historical arcades like this one are incredibly intricate. You see them in many other historical cities, towns and villages as well. This 
This is the Oxford Castle and Prison. Prison is now closed, but its facade reminds us of its history. I was really shocked and surprised to learn that the youngest prisoner was a seven-year-old girl, Julie Ann Crumping, who was sentenced to serve seven days of hard labor for stealing a pram. That was the harsh reality of Victorian times. Oxford has an incredible amount of places to see and enjoy, and to me those are historical houses. Just looking at them makes me feel like I'm connecting with history, and it's a great privilege to experience that. So until next Thursday, next week, 7 o'clock in the evening, remember to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye. <laughs>